guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. We are looking at your general life during the week, your love life and also your career. Sit back, relax and enjoy your reading. Oh hi there guys, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading this week. I just wanted to show you the cards that we're using uh, this week. Uh, we are using the Radiant Wise mini deck, uh, miniature tarot, um, and we're going to just look at your general message for the week through those. Uh, for the uh, uh, work uh, reading, we're using the Cosmic Cycles Tarot uh, by Martina Razzo and Miriam EG. A beautiful deck. You'll If you haven't checked out a review of this deck, well, you probably don't need to check it out now. Well, actually, maybe you do, because obviously not all of the cards are going to be shown on this. We're only picking five cards from this deck to have a look at message for careers. So if you want to check out the actual review of this deck, guys, uh, you can. It's on the channel, okay, so you, where you get to see all, the, all of the deck, what every single card looks like. We are also going to use, for the love reading section of the, the reading, guys, the Modern Love Tarot by, uh, by Ethany. She actually is a YouTuber, this lady. Um, fantastic uh, uh, tarot creator and also oracle deck creator as well. I'm in love with this deck. This is specifically for love readings. I haven't done a review on this particular deck yet. But uh, yeah, uh, the one will be coming up soon. But I just, I just couldn't wait to to use this for the love readings this week. So we're going to use this for the love readings. And also we're going to use, for your spiritual advice for the week, we're going to use the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. Hi Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. It's January 25th through to uh, January 31st. Uh, we're going to have a look at your uh, general message, your career message, and also your love message. Let's make a start. Okay, Aries, the cards are down. Let's have a look at what the general message is this week. So the Six of Coins, a gift, an exchange. It is give and take, yes, but the Six of Coins, it's a money card. This can be a loan. It can be an act of charity. It can be kindness. It can be support. It can be help. Uh, let's have a look at the next one here. Okay. Um, all right. So the moon, uh, something uh, untoward happening. Maybe there are funds that are going missing, for example, because the moon card, things happen in the darkness, you know, things happen in the shadow. And then we've got this money card of the six of coins where money is exchanging hands. So money may be exchanging hands in secret. So there might be a message about either funding or money going missing, or maybe some money is exchanging hands in secret with that moon energy showing there. Yeah, so we've got the hermit energy showing here as well. Uh, but the hermit is looking into the moon. Now, the hermit is ruled by Virgo. This is an examiner. I I get the, the, the impression that the message may be something along the line, Aries, that... I mean, this isn't reversed or anything. I mean, Six of Coins isn't necessarily untoward, but you may be, something is being investigated here. The message may be that there's a, a, a an investigation into maybe some money exchanging hands. This could be illegally or something like that with the moon energy being the card of secrecy, Six of Coins being a, the card of money changing hands, and the Hermit being the investigator. So it may be some, uh, the message for you, the general message is, is to make sure that you're, finances or whatever you're doing financially is all above board and is declared it is tax week as well so uh well to get if you're in the uk um it's we're all doing our some people have done their taxes before i'm currently finishing off my tax and stuff for uh 2019-20 but uh make sure that things are above board Aries here because it may be that uh, something about financial exchanges with the moon being done in secret or underneath the veil uh, are being investigated with the hermit energy showing here. Um, the Knight of Coins can be about payment, for example, um, but payment being a payment being given. It's interesting. You've got two knights here. Let me think about two nights in a reading. Two nights may be messages, like um, unexpected messages with two nights. I, I think a couple of nights in a reading can be uh, unexpected messages or messages relating to a situation coming in. 
Um, but also this could be support is offered here as well. The Knight of Coins can be financial support. The Knight of Cups can be an offering as well. Something can be offered with that Knight. This could be, uh, Knight of Coins can be money being given, for example. Support, financial support uh, given with the Knight of Cups energy. Um, or payment must be offered up, perhaps. Because the Knight of Coins can be the payment card and the Knight of Cups can be something that is offered. interesting um or this can be kind of messages coming through surprising messages with the two knights i do definitely feel something along the lines aries of making sure that your finances are above board because you it, and also it may be that uh, a messages come along perhaps there's an audit uh, if you get the hermit it's an auditor and with that money exchanging hands or payments being done in secret so if you're not declaring money um and money may be and it also thinking about it especially if um no that wouldn't make sense overseas payments as well overseas payments it may be if you're receiving money from abroad or something like that because the knight of cups can be overseas and the knight of coins is payment so especially if there's anything along the lines of overseas payments perhaps something isn't being declared here you're receiving money underneath the veil you know it's going to be investigated so that I just think that the general idea of this reading um, Aries is to make sure that whatever especially if you run your own business make sure that you're declaring everything make sure that you're declaring everything uh, also the knight of cups with the cup out can be asking for something he's asking for you to fill his cup and the knight of pentacles is payment so it may be that your you know your 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 business dealings perhaps possibly it could, or maybe this is someone that you know, but it just looks like uh, uh, exchange of money exchanging hands, the six of coins, or money that is received in quiet or under the radar with the moon card, because the moon card is hiding things. So money received under the radar may be investigated with the hermit. Okay. Um, you know, maybe you should be paying something with these two knights. Or if you've received, or if you've been uh, receiving payments from overseas, it could be uh, money that's being received under, you know, under the radar with the moon energy is going to be investigated. So I just think that looking between the lines, however you want to read that combination, because remember the hermit does investigate stuff. He's the tax auditor, and especially with the tax auditor uh, card of the hermit, especially with the knight of coins as well, where the knight of coins can be a tax individual, for example. Anybody who's a pentacle, like a court card, except for your page, really, you're looking at either your knight, your queen, your king, they're tax people, and with the hermit being an auditor, it may be that payments are being audited here. Maybe you've been receiving money underneath the radar with the moon card, and this is going to be uh, audited by a tax individual it may be that you received with the two knights an unexpected message concerning that so i would just say uh just as a general message aries make sure that any type of financial dealings if you run a business if you're receiving money make sure it's all going through the books uh, this could definitely for me be a cash in hand thing as well where you're actually receiving money in the hand and it's not going through you know um either the you know your bank um your bank account it's not being written down on the books Nothing's not being declared. This is something about something not being declared here. Um, be very careful of that because you may come up, uh, come, you know, it may be that something's going to be audited here. Um, and also with the Knight of Cups being the collector and the Knight of Pentacles being the material as well. So this could be like a receipt. I just feel as well, make sure that you are uh, asking, Knight of Cups is asking, it feels like you need to make sure that you're asking for all of your receipts or you're, you're collecting because he's a collector collecting all of the receipts because it may be that money that you it, that's being exchanged or money that's being received is is not being declared with the moon and it may be audited so just make sure that anything you're doing financially aries is being uh properly um properly declared and computerized and that it's you know you have an electronic trail basically because some things may be audited that you can't account for uh let's have a look at what the career reading is 
Um, three of coins. So this is good. I love this version of the three of pentacles. It's about approval. So the, what, some of the work that you guys are doing in terms of your jobs, I think it's being revered. I think it's being, you know, recognized. I think people like what you do. I wouldn't be surprised if there's, there is praise here with the three of coins energy showing there. Um, the lovers. Okay. I just feel that in terms of work, I'm seeing a lot of praise from people that love what you do with the lovers energy. But the lovers can be decision as well when it comes to uh, when it comes to a career reading as well. But I don't know what I'd like to go with that because all I, I don't see decisions here. I see I see love. I see support and help. Um, wow. We've got the star. So the star again is a card about recognition. Okay, so I, I do feel that uh, the message this week for your work is that your work is definitely being supported and loved and recognized by others, I think. Um, yeah, and the Ace of Cups energy showing here. Just seeing a lot of love and recognition concerning the work that you do. Um, but also, by the same token, Aries, the Knight of Swords is to exit, it's to move, it's to change. Um, the the star could also be hope so perhaps for some of you guys there's hopes of doing something new knight of swords energy could be the quick exit card so some of you guys may be hoping to make a quick exit and do something new so it may be that for some of you guys this week though you are recognized for what you do with the three of coins energy showing here you may have a decision to make concerning career some of you guys may be hoping with the knight of swords as well it just feels like to change direction do something new with the, and, and the knight of swords is the quick exit so this can be moving out of what you're doing as well so I just feel that this week, for some of you Aries, yeah, uh, you are recognised for what you do. People really approve of you. They like you. They like your style. They like whatever you do. But there may be a decision that you're facing. Some of you guys are hoping to um, uh, Knight of Swords energy change direction, uh, quick exit into something new, perhaps here with this Ace. Finally, uh, let's have a look at what the love reading is. Interesting. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands can be attention from others, and the Seven of Wands can also be rejection, or you're rejecting someone here. Um, I see challenges within a relationship here with that Ten of Cups showing there. Some of you guys are facing some challenges within a relationship with the Ten of Cups and that Seven of Wands. Oh, sorry guys, I've got a bit of fluff on my card again. Uh, yeah, there's worries here with the Nine of Swords energy, a bit of anxiety going on there with the Nine of Swords. You know, the Seven of Coins is putting, it's, it's not just about taking a step back to review. That card actually indicates that you've put the work in. Um, and actually, it's interesting because I'm wondering for some of you guys in a relationship, if you are the ones that are worried about whether you want to put any more work into the relationship. If you look at this, which is why I always buy scenic cards, because you can really look at those uh, imageries, you know, the imagery. And I always find that fascinating. If you look at the Seven of Coins on this particular deck, look, she's kind of like standing there and she's kind of like, I don't really want to put any more work into this. I don't want to put any more effort into this. This is what she's saying. Uh, and he's saying, it's almost like he's standing behind her with his hands on her shoulders saying, please, come on, just give it another try. So some of you guys are worrying probably, possibly there's a feeling of not wanting to give this situation another try, wanting to give up perhaps with that Seven of Coins energy. The Ten of Coins energy. So it's almost like the hard work, putting hard work in pays off with the Ten of Coins energy. So some of you guys are worrying about whether the work that you're putting into this relationship with the Seven of Coins is actually going to yield results with the 10 you know um so usually when there's not a really clear defining message i think in the cards i often turn to uh, clarifying cards to see what it is that you need to do so let's go through this love reading again some of you guys are facing a lot of um i think challenges with the seven of wands in a in a relationship with that 10 showing there i think there's a lot of challenges that you're facing uh with the seven of wands and i think you're worried about whether you putting more work in is going to actually yield results or pay off with that ten of coins because coins are about putting work in and getting the results like the physical results and whether it's so you're worried about whether it's going to the work that you put into this relationship is going to kind of literally yield physical results you know you're going to see changes you're going to see things getting better let's have a quick look at what the advice is um 
what you should be doing what is the what is the message what should aries be doing then on this situation in two cards what should they do about this situation in terms of love well the fool is to release oneself to let go of the baggage is the fool card um oh you've got the hermit showing here that's in it's been a long time since i've seen that combination together um you know, the Hermit would be a card about withdrawing for a little bit, taking a bit of a break. I think for some of you guys, you need to, uh, with the full energy, perhaps there's a need to release. Remember, the Fool is ruled by Uranus and Aquarius. It's independence, this card is. Uh, it's taking a leap of faith. And the Hermit card is to take a step back, to go inward, to maybe take a bit of a break, have a bit of alone time. I get the impression, looking at both cards, it feels to me like it's saying there's a need for you to take a break, get some time on your own with this Fall in the Hermit card. And if it's a case of that you can't do that because you're actually on lockdown or something and you're stuck in the house with the partner, maybe there's a need to define a, bit, a few boundaries and just say, look, for the time being, do you mind if I use this room or do you mind if I have a bit of space to do what I want to do I don't want to you know I don't want us to be in the same room or something not that you're causing any conflict or friction but there is time to um and also I, I think um also what I think is um when you get the hermit and the fool because the hermit hides things he's a very secretive card the fool in front of the hermit can actually see show somebody who's coming out they're releasing a secret with both cards so maybe if you've not spoken to the partner about this you need to open up about it as well with those two cards showing there let's have a quick recap then aries before we finish off on the spiritual reading um general reading this week uh message is if you guys if any of you guys resonate with this if you're hiding stuff financially if you don't have a proper financial trail especially and i'm getting that this would be running one's own business whether you work for a company you do something on the side or whether you actually run a business properly uh there's definitely for me money that is being received in secret with that moon card there and that hermit is nosy he's auditing whatever's going on here so be very careful of that um and i feel that you need to um be open and honest about about whatever is being received in terms of money because the knight of coins is payment and the knight of cups could be collecting when you get coins and cups the cup is collecting the coin so it almost feels like you need to be honest about with the two knights besides there being kind of that this could be a message or some information that comes to you just out of the blue um, and it could also be when you get two nights, it's a message that comes to you incrementally, kind of meaning it comes to you as a result of something else happening. So it may be that something happens and as a consequence of that, it starts a domino effect of something else happening that leads to this. So I think in a way, firstly, Aries, that you need to make sure that you're open and honest about whatever it is that you're collecting with the Knight of Coins and the Knight of Cups, because it may be that something happens that starts off a chain of events that you can't stop, you know, whether that be, um, you know, you're, you know, you've got problems with a business account and then suddenly your business manager says, well, can you supply your tax returns and you haven't done your tax returns. And, and you run a business, you know, and all of that. It's that type of thing. So make sure, I think, with the Knight of Cups as well and the Knight of Pentacles, being that cups collect coins. When a cup is open and there's a coin clearly there, it's collecting it. So I just feel there's a need for you as well, Aries, to be very open and honest about whatever monies you're collecting. Because if you're receiving money in secret and you're not declaring it, especially to the tax officials, the tax office, you will be audited and somebody may want to look into that, Okay. Uh, the other thing in terms of work, I think the message for work is some of you guys really are receiving good feedback concerning the work that you're doing. Um, you know, you're receiving good feedback, you're receiving good um, um, good appraisals, recognition, that type of thing with that Three of Pentacles. But I feel that it may be that some of you guys are facing a decision here because some of you guys are actually hoping to, I think with the next Net Knight of Swords, to, to change direction. Perhaps there is a need to pursue something that you truly do love, perhaps with the Ace of Cups, or you're looking to pursue something new here. So some of you guys have to face the decision because the true hope here is to pursue something that you really do feel an affinity for 
and something that's new. Uh, finally, in terms of love, some of you guys are facing some form of challenge or uh, difficulty in a relationship here. Perhaps one of it's either you or the partner seems a bit standoffish or cold or whatever the case may be. And it may be that you're worrying uh, this week about, with that seven of coins and the ten of coins, whether your hard work or whether investing in this relationship any further is literally going to yield results with this ten of coins energy. I think if that's the case, the advice would be with this fool and the hermit card that either you need to take a bit of time out, you need to just release the situation, get it off your back a little bit, uh, have a bit of alone time, or you literally need to kind of get off your chest whatever it is that you're feeling with those two cards let's have a quick look at what the spiritual advice is for the week right page of swords again card of truth brilliant ideas that may need refinement overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out communicate clearly concisely remain objective yeah i mean i certainly feel that uh this card really does relate to no is it the page it's not the pages it's the ace i do apologize so number one, Ace of Swords. Sorry, it's not the page. Or else it would have a P on it. Sorry, it's the Ace of Swords. So yeah, Ace of Swords is about communication and being clear and being honest. And I think that this week, the spiritual advice is to communicate honestly, whether it be with money that's not being declared or whether it be in a relationship, especially there. Um, also for me, the Ace of Swords is clearing so clearing things that no longer serve you. So if it's a case of what you do, you are revered in it, you're loved for it, you're appreciated for it, but you have a decision to make because your hopes are to, with this Knight of Swords, perhaps this is to pursue something more creative with the Ace of Cups or to pursue a more creative venture, then I think that you really have to pay homage to that and you really have to kind of just be honest about what you want to do going forward, no matter if you have got success at the moment. All right, my darlings, that is your reading, Aries. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you would like your own private reading, click on the link in the comment section below. Uh, and yeah, have a great week and I'll see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.